Hello, this video will show how to flash a Ioni firmware. This is something different than a normal Simicube firmware. First uh, you go to the Simicube configuration tool. You go to the advanced tab and you click on enable Ioni USB configuration. You say OK. And of course you read what's there. Now the USB thing is in the game port on your Simicube uh, controller box. I will change it now to the other one. I've changed it. And now you can access uh, the, the motherboard, the Simicube board with the Granity software. Uh, it's possible that it won't work at the first time because uh, it's possible you need to install some drivers. Uh, some unknown devices will pop up here. You will need to right click, update the driver or click properties and uh, update the driver manually. And then you uh, go to the place where you have extracted the drivers. I'll in include a link uh, where you can download these uh, drivers in the video description so you can do it. And now I'll show you how you flash the Ioni firmware in Grenady. It's pretty simple. Also lead, uh, read this and click on I agree. This is Grenady, you click on connect. Yeah, this should show up and you click connect drive. And if you have installed the drivers properly, it will uh, find uh, the Grenady device. You click open, now you're connected to your uh, Simicube board. It's pretty simple, just click uh, install firmware here. Now it will put it into firmware upgrade mode. You choose the device again. Please uh, don't check this box. If you do, all your settings will be lost, so you don't want this box checked. So don't do that. Uh, I think by default it's on maybe. So turn it off. Then click open. And uh, start file upgrade. I've put mine on my desktop. I already installed the latest one. But I'll just do it to show you how it works. Just click open. And then you wait. And it happens all by itself. It's done and then the wheel will start up again and start phasing and also Granity will uh, also recognize that the wheel is uh, connected again or available for connection. Just click uh, cancel because it's done. But yeah of course you can click connect to and then you can check if it's uh, flashed uh, the new one. And here you can see 1.6.91, that's the one I flashed. Then you click disconnect. Then you open the Simicube tool again. And of course you have to change the cable again back to the game port on the controller board. It's the two USB, uh, mini USB connectors next to each other. Then you click disable Ioni configuration tool and then the wheel should be recognized again. Sometimes it doesn't work. I think it's... Oh, it does work. But on... Uh, no, it doesn't. It's no problem at all. You just power cycle the wheel on and off. And it will be in normal uh, Simicube gaming mode again. And now you can drive with uh, the new firmware in the games. Everything is ready to go. Uh, if you run 1.6.1 and you were still on uh, 
torque bent with 680 now you can run unlimited with no problem and it's it's a lot smoother also the noise of the motor is a lot less with the new beta firmwares so I, I really recommend using them already since they're already good in my opinion but sometime soon the, the full version will be released and then it will flash by itself just with the normal Simicube uh, configuration tool update but uh, if you want to try it now this is the way to do it thank you uh, for watching guys if you like the video please subscribe and thumbs up see you next time